So the Minnesota Timberwolves have made some moves during this offseason, but the young star over there by the name of Anthony Edwards is who I want to talk about the most and who I think is an important piece to this team. Great charisma, a confident swagger, and unbelievable instincts when on the court, Edwards poses everything needed to be a bona fide star in today's league. After an amazing rookie season that had everyone raving over his game, it was still hard to put expectations on him coming into his second year, but Edwards made improvements and is on his way to take over this team. Proving that he will be a force in this league in his first playoffs and put up amazing numbers. Furthermore, proving that at a young age of 20 years old and two years in the league, he is fit to lead a team in the near future. There's many things that lead to Edwards' success, and what jumpstarts it is his ability to get to his spots and score the ball confidently. Edwards shoots the ball at a high volume and at a variety of difficult shots on the floor. He tends to limit his scoring game to simply threes and layups, but he can still mix it up and get comfortable wherever he is at. Whether it's sinking the deep triple as he isos out Covington here, then sizes him up into a side step for the three, or if it's turning the corner and staying strong when attacking the paint, or creating space off the dribble to pull up over defenders. If you take a look at some splits, Edwards has went from a pretty inefficient shooter in his rookie year to a league average shooter in just his second year in the league. Maybe if you didn't pay a lot of attention to the Wolves over the season, you would probably think his game is mostly predicated on finishing at the rim, but Ant's game is becoming way more diverse. This shows signs of Edwards becoming a great shooter and him being an all-around offensive threat for years to come. Sure, we all love the flashy pull-ups and the creative handles to create space for a bucket, but being able to move off ball and be an effective shooter off the catch is a key skill to have. With Edwards being paired with D'Angelo Russell in the backcourt, it takes a lot of the ball handling responsibility off of Edwards and has allowed for him to become great at shooting off the catch. In this past season, Ant shot 41% off catch and shoot threes on three attempts per game, and these accounted for roughly 18% of his shot diet. If Ant could up his attempts off the catch to around five to six a game, it could start to look scary as him and Towns will both be threats if you leave them open on the three to go help out on a drive. In the game, the Wolves broke the team record of 23 threes in a single game. Edwards tallied in 10 of them just himself. Half of them came off no dribbles and him just being in the zone, knocking them down. His notable 10th three came after catching this pass from Beverly and showing his range with this long range bomb. He did have some fancy pull-ups we like to see as well as he mixes up Gordon with this sidestep combo into an in and out and snatches back to sink this right in his face. And also earlier in the game, hitting Gordon again with the in and out to fake the screen use and sidesteps into this triple. Taking a percentage drop from threes off the catch, Edwards sinks these pull-ups at a 32% clip, but they take up a larger percent of his shot distribution at 29% on 5 attempts per game. Being able to create his own shot from deep is very key as having a great screen setter in Rudy Gobert will make it easier to get open on the perimeter. Having a great lift on his jump shot allows for him to be unbothered and shoot over defenders and if you couple that with Ant's ability to create space utilizing sidesteps, step backs, nasty crossovers, then this is honestly the recipe to a highly dangerous shot creator. With confidence and transition, Edwards just pulls up right over Melo with no hesitation at all. Here we see Towns set this screen allowing Edwards to get open for a split second and he drains his three over the outstretched hand of Sangoon. Those exact looks will benefit the Wolves team greatly as Cat will be able to pop off those screens more than not now that Gobert will be the dominant paint presence and it will help for Ant to get good looks at the rim. If Cat is not doing the screen then it'll be the bigger and better screener and Gobert doing the job which will open up Ant's driving game even more. Having the handle he has, the ability to navigate through traffic being crafty, and his pure athleticism around the rim, Edwards' attacking ability can really be a strong suit in his game if he focuses on it a little bit more. At times, Edwards can really struggle at the rim by not having a good touch and also not being really great at drawing the fouls when getting in the paint. Attacking here, he elevates over George with pure athleticism and just blows the easy gimme at the rim. Protecting the ball better when going up is what is the most noticeable as he tends to be pretty loose with the ball on his way up sometimes and it results in wild shots. These will be things that I believe will be quite easy fixes going forward, but on the bright side, Edwards still finishes pretty well for a second year player and has very good footwork when in pursuit to the rim. 
using euros, quick changes of direction, and changes of pace are all key components to his finishing ability. Attacking the closeout hard here, Edwards crosses back to the right to avoid the reach from Simons, and once being met by Nurkic, he serves him with a Euro, then finishes with the English off the glass. Pushing in transition, Ant hits Bialicia with this behind the back, and slices right past Iguodala to float past Wiggins for the easy finish. Edwards has an array of finishes around the rim, not to mention he can put you on a poster at any given moment in the game tweaking some minor things to his inside game over the next few years, such as a softer touch, developing a mid-range jumper and floater, and also keeping the ball under control when going up, will make him even more difficult to cover on the floor. Next season, Edwards is going to be a major component to this Wolves team and will make a tremendous leap in his game. Things I'm mainly looking forward to see is better playmaking skills on the offensive end and ramping up his defense. We've seen him show flashes of skill in both those aspects, so hopefully that's a sign that he will progress even further. This Wolves team is up and coming and I believe Edwards will soon be the leader and really shine a light on this team even more. Let me know how you feel about Anthony Edwards and how this Wolves team will do next season. If you enjoyed this video, you have to watch the video I did over the Timberwolves and how each player will impact their success, or you can watch this video over Darius Garland and how he's going to be an emerging star in today's league. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.